can you mentally find out what is 23 times 22 in 4 seconds? Your time starts now. Your time is up. The correct answer would be 506. There it is. Let me tell you how I did it. Basically, all I did was to add this 2 to 23. 23 plus 2 is 25. But before I put 25 here, I'll double it up. So I'll write 50. And for the last digit, 3 2 times is 6. So the answer is 506. Could you figure out the logic behind it? Alright, so I'll explain it to you in detail. Well, you could have easily solved this question by using the base 10. But you can solve it even more easily by taking the base as 20. And that is what I did. I took the secondary base 20. 10 is the primary base and 20 is the secondary base. Now, like we always do, I added this digit to this entire number. So, 23 plus 2 is 25. But before I put 25 here, I have to double it up. Alright? Why do I double it up? Because the base 20, the secondary base 20 is 2 times that of the primary base. So, I just double it up. So, 25 2 times is 50. Alright? And for the last digit, like we always do, multiply these two digits together. So, I'll get 6. And that is what I did. What is 27 times 23? Again, the same thing. Add this digit to this entire number. 27 plus 3 is 30. But before I put down 30 here, I have to double it up. So, double of 30 is 60. And for the last digit, 7 3 times is 21. So, I'll write 2 here, 1 here. So, the answer would be 621. What about 23 times 21? So, you do it this time. So, add this 1 to this entire number. So, 23 plus 1 is 24. And double of 24 is 48. So, I'll write 48 here. Now, one more date to go for that. 3 1 times is 3. So, I'll write 3 here. So, the answer is 483. As simple as that. By now, you must have realized that this base method of multiplication is indeed a very powerful technique. Isn't it? And I'll show you that how you can multiply even huge numbers like 4 digit number with another 4 digit number in a matter of few seconds and that too mentally. Alright? So, we'll be seeing all that. So, just keep watching the video. So, now find out quickly, quickly, how much is 28 times 24? So, again, add this 4 to 28. 28 plus 4 is 32 and double of 32 is 64. Okay? One more place to go. 8 4 times is 32. 3 here, 2 here and the answer would be 672. That's your answer. Well, though doubling up any number is a very easy thing to do, isn't it? Finding two times of any number. It's one of the simplest operations in mathematics. But in case you are finding it difficult to do, if that is what is hampering your speed, not to worry at all. I have taken care of that problem for you as well. Uh, in this EasyCal series, I have also included a video for faster doubling and halving the numbers. So, you can watch that. Alright? So, let's practice more questions. So, what is 32 times 22? Again, the base here is 20. But one thing that you must remember here that if you are taking base as 20, and if the numbers are in 20s, like 21 times 22, 24 times 23, anything that is in 20s, then you can just simply add this digit to this entire number. Alright? But then, when the numbers are not in that range, isn't it? Like you see numbers in 30s here. So, you have to find the distance. Alright? So, distance of 32 from 20 is 12. Isn't it? And distance of 22 from 20 is 2 only. Isn't it? Like the number is in 20, so obviously the distance would be this digit only. Okay? So, what you do? In a cross fashion, either you add 12 to 22 or you add 2 to 32. I'll prefer to add 2 to 32. Isn't it that simpler to do? So, it would be 34. But before I put 34 here, I'll double it up. So, double of 34 is 68. And one more digit to go. For that, I'll find the product of the distances. So, 12 2 times is 24. So, I'll write 24 here. So, the answer would be 68 plus 2 is 70. 
and 4. That's the answer. Now, are you seeing the possibilities of base method? What I'm showing it to you is just a tip of the iceberg. Believe me, my friend, you just have to explore it. The more you practice it, the more possibilities you are going to find. And you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. You'll be impressed with your own ability to calculate fast. That's a guarantee for sure. All right. So keep practicing. Practicing is very important. Like to solve many questions, we can even use two tricks that we have learned in tandem. Isn't it? One after another. Let me give you an example. What is 38 times 32? All right. So I can take the base as 20. Isn't it? So since these numbers are in 30 and the base is in 20, so we might as well write the distance. This is at the distance plus 12 from 20 and 38 is at the distance of plus 18 from 20. Now in a cross manner add this. So 38 plus 12 again use the jumping 10 technique of addition so it will be 40, 50 and double of 50 is 100. That's it. Now you have to find what is 18, 12 times. Isn't it? There is one digit more to go. So how do you find that? We have learnt a trick in EasyCal how to multiply any number with 12. So what you do? You copy the first digit as it is. Now before you add this 1 to 8, because 2 is here, so you make it 2 times. So 2 plus 8 is 10 and 8 2 times is 16. So the answer is 216. Now you write 216 here. So the answer would be 1216. That is what your answer is. See? So now you have seen that the tricks that you are learning, they would be used in tandem. Isn't it? And this way you will be able to multiply even huge numbers with lot many digits in matter of few seconds. Alright? But then, believe me, I am too lazy to do all these things. So, I would not like to do that. I would like to multiply this 38 and 32 in even more easy manner. See, basically, <laughs> you can take the base as 30. Isn't it? Now, I will show you how it will work. Now, how I would like to go about it, I will take the base as 30, alright? I have taken a secondary base as 30, primary base is obviously 10. So, now the base is 30 and the numbers are also in 30. So, immediately we can add this 2 to this 38. So, 38 plus 2 is 40. Now, 30 is 3 times the primary base. So, we have to find the 3 times of 40, which is not a very difficult thing to do. 43 times is 120. So, straight away I will put 120 here. Now, one more date to go. For that, I just simply multiply 8 with 2. So, 8 2 times is 16. And my answer is 1216. See? So, explore the possibilities.